Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Esty. Thanks for being here today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the classes that I'm taking for pre-nursing and the requirements to get into the nursing program at the school that I'm applying to. So a very quick side note, each school is a little bit different for prerequisites. So just make sure that whatever school or schools you're applying to, make sure that you have gone onto their websites, looked at their requirements, called an admissions counselor, and just make sure that you know specifically what you're required to take. But I'm hoping that this will be a little bit helpful just to kind of get a general idea of what pre-nursing requirements look like and what schools are generally looking for, for requirements and for prerequisites before you begin a nursing program. So let's dive right in. First of all, I am planning to do an associate's degree of nursing. And so this is a generally like a two year degree. So at the school that I'm applying to, this will be a five semester program. And I have several things that I have already done and then a few more classes that I need to take before starting this program. One of their first requirements is GPA requirement. So at this school that I'm applying to, the GPA requirement is at least a 2.5 or above. Now their second requirement is the application. And so depending on the school that you're applying to, this might be a little bit harder or it could be very easy. I'm applying to a community college and it was a pretty simple application it only took me probably half an hour to fill out and to turn in and that kind of gets the process going to get into the school and also to have them review any transcripts that you might have and see what you can transfer in. So the third thing that they required is that you finish high school or have completed your GED. But then after that, they ask for any college transcripts that you might have from you know, a previous degree or any transfer credits that you might have. So for me, I actually already have a bachelor's degree previously. And so I got a hold of all of my college transcripts from before and had them sent to this school for them to review. And after they had reviewed it then they told me what had transferred in to the nursing requirements and what I had left to take. So there were a few classes that they initially told me were not going to transfer in for any credit but when I looked through the requirements for the program I thought okay I have some classes that I've already taken that are very similar to this so I actually called up an admissions counselor and talked through some of those things and requested that they review it again so I actually was able to transfer in a few more classes than what they had initially told me when they reviewed my application so that's just a quick note for those of you who might be doing a second degree or transferring in credits from another college just be aware that sometimes they might not initially transfer a class that you can actually convince them to transfer if that makes sense and so just make sure that you are paying close attention as well and if there's anything that you have questions about always call up your advisor or call up the admissions counselor to make sure that everything that can possibly transfer transfers all right so at this school they also have what they call a gateway english and math readiness so for me i placed out of those because i already had another college degree and so they just placed me out of that but that would be something if you haven't taken any college level english or math classes that might be something that your program would require of you. Our school had a nursing information session that I had to attend, just kind of giving you the basics of the program and talking about the requirements that you had to complete before starting the program. And at my school, this was a fully online process, so it was pretty simple. I just read some paperwork and I listened to a few videos and then I filled out a form at the end to say that I had finished the nursing information session. All right, so now we're getting into a little bit more of the kind of testing or classes that I needed to take in terms of requirements. So I am required to have a nurse aid one certificate and that's also known as a CNA certificate or certified nursing assistant. So I actually have not done that class yet but I am planning to do it this coming spring 2021. And so I have that on my class schedule. I'm planning to complete that hopefully in the spring semester and then get my certification by the summertime so that I can start the nursing program in the fall. This is in North Carolina and a lot of states actually do not require you to have your CNA certification, but North Carolina does. So it's, again, like I said before, just make sure you look at your school and see what your school would require of you specifically to get into the nursing program. All right, the school that I applied to also required the TEFL or the test of English as a foreign language exam. So if English was a second language for you, then this might be a requirement to get into your school. And then finally, the last, I guess, non-course 
requirement that I had to get into this nursing program is to complete an entrance exam and for our school this is the T6 exam. So I actually have several videos on taking the TEAS test because I just took that about a month and a half ago. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that and getting some of my study tips and study books that I use to do well on the TEAS test, you can go ahead. I've linked those below so you can go ahead and check them out there. So once you have finished all of those requirements at our school, they do what is called the Minimum Admissions Requirement Review or the MAR review, and I think a lot of schools do this, they might call it something different, but once you finish all those requirements and have turned them all in, then your advisor will go over all of the things that you've completed and give you a score that goes towards the competition to get into the nursing program. So at our school, they changed things up just a little bit because of COVID, and so they said, if you haven't finished your CNA requirement yet, you can still go ahead and do the MAR review and finish your CNA certification later. So that's actually what I'm doing right now. I have turned in my MAR review. So they have reviewed it. They've scored me, <laughs> which sounds a little bit scary, but um, that score now is in a pool of applicants. And in February of 2021, I will be finding out whether I got accepted to nursing school or not. So it's definitely a little nerve wracking, but I'm excited that I have all those requirements behind me. And thankfully that's kind of, you know, done and I don't have to worry about those requirements anymore. All right, so now I'll talk about the other prerequisite courses that are a requirement for the nursing program. So at my school, these prerequisite courses are recommended to have finished before you begin the nursing program, but they are not required. So if you have finished them, which I have done some of them, you will get extra points put towards your application. And so that helps you to get pushed forward into the pool of applicants and to get into nursing school faster. So it definitely is a benefit to finish these early. And I've also talked to other nurses who have told me that it's definitely a good idea to get as many of these prerequisites out of the way before you start nursing school as possible even if it's not a requirement because some of them especially the sciences are pretty intensive and can take a lot of time so I will just quickly share with you what my school required for those courses and which ones I've done which ones I still have yet to do first of all you're required to have three major sciences so it's anatomy and physiology one and two and then you're also required to do microbiology and so something that is important to make sure you know when you're scheduling classes is to find out if any of these courses have prerequisites to get into them. So for example, a microbiology course at my school, you actually cannot take it unless you've already finished anatomy and physiology one. And so I'm taking that into consideration with how I'm scheduling my classes. All right, so there's those three sciences, anatomy and physiology one and two and microbiology. Then my school also has kind of a basic college readiness class that I actually transferred out of because this is a second degree for me. Then there's two psych courses, general psychology and developmental psychology. And those two courses, I actually was able to take fully online this past summer, and then I just am transferring them into my nursing program. Then my school also requires two English writing courses. The first one is a basic college level writing course, and then the second one is a research methods writing course. Now, I passed out of the first writing course because I had already done writing courses in college, and then the second course, the one about research methods, is actually an example of of one that they initially said I had to take and that I didn't transfer out of. But once I called up an admissions counselor and I talked through all of the writing courses that I had taken in college, I had taken at least two or three writing courses in college initially. So once I talked through it with her and explained and she went back and looked at my records, she said, oh yeah, you're good. You can pass out of this course. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are a transfer student or have previous classes that you've taken. And finally, they had a requirement to have a fine arts or humanities course. And so there's a whole list basically of electives that you could choose from and my previous degree was actually in music and so I had a lot of fine arts and humanities courses that fit into this category. So basically for this particular program there were eight prerequisites that needed to be completed and 
I have finished slash transferred in five out of those eight. So I have three left. So the three that I've left are those big science ones, the anatomy and physiology one and two and microbiology. And all of those also go along with a lab that I'll have to take. So those courses I'm planning to take in spring of 2021 and then summer of 2021. And I'm hoping that I will be able to have all of those out of the way before I start the nursing program, hopefully in fall of 2021. So that's kind of my plan. Hopefully that was helpful to you. And if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, go ahead and drop a comment below. Just let me know. Also just drop a comment to say hello. I love to connect with you guys on here. If you'd like to see more content on study tips, time management, and lifestyle content as a mom to three and as a student, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content similar to this.